Hey guys, Daniel here. Happy 2020! And I thought I'd start off this year with a revamp. A quick revamp of one of my old creations. Here we have Fang Slash in his robot mode. Um, so you remember Fang Slash, don't you? Yeah, you know it's Snake Guy, Beast Wars esque. Yeah, you know him. Um, I thought that... I just thought that he didn't look right, his old version. It was too thin and skimpy on... You know, it's just too thin, if you know what I mean. He just had too skimpy on armor and stuff. So I thought I'd bulk him up with version 2. Now, this is not version 2.0. Um, that was the spider version of Fang Slash, but this is not spider version. This is a new version. His is alright. I like the design. He's pretty bulky. He's got kind of an asymmetrical kind of Beast Wars-esque look to him. He's very Beast Wars-esque. But he also has a bit of Cybertronian feel to him. He's got, you know, those red parts there kind of look like... You know, um, I don't know what you call them, but he just looks cybertronian, okay? Um, in this mode, he can kick back and forward. He can has a double hinge there. His legs are kind of gappy, but that's just the way he is, so you can't really do anything about it. He can hinge his arms up and down. Shoulders are on a ball joint, as well as his elbow, I guess. I guess that could be, like, the tip could be his hand, I guess you could say. He has three, one, two, three joints in his other arm, which is the snake tail, but we'll get to that later. He can look up and down. Yeah, it's just a really simple creation. So, putting him off to the side, let's do some comparisons. Here's Fang Slash with a minifigure. Serious, these guys snake. I thought I compared to one of the Ninjago Pyro snakes. Here he is with a another snake, Pythor. They look better. And here he is with Bumblebee. I think the sky the size is alright. Uh, it's a little bit off, but yeah. So anyway, let's transform this guy. Transforming in Fang Slash into Snake Mode is really easy actually. You just have to start off by pushing on that. And so it kinda goes like that. Pull the robot head down. Rotate. Bring the arm so it's facing like that, bring the head down, rotate this robot leg, the robot legs down, and just kind of bring them up and fold them around like so. There you have Fang Slash in Beast Mode. I think this new beast mode looks pretty good. I think I, I honestly like the old one a little bit better. But it this wasn't this beast mode is actually inspired by the Korata from figure from Beast Wars Neo. Um if you know who that guy is, but yeah, this is a nice little creation. Don't have much to say about it. It's simple, it works alright. I think it just I think it looks I think it looks good. Okay, I just like it. The legs do have a tendency to pop off, as you can see here. So let's ready to do. Let's get into some comparisons. Uh, I can't stand this guy up. Okay, I can't. This guy can't stand up very good. Listen. This guy does not. This guy does not stand up. I'm gonna have to hold him there. 
Here he is with another Pyro Warrior. Here he is, Bumblebee. And here he is with uh, the Piper. And I th these guys are actually basically the same height, so which is kind of cool. So, yeah. Guys, Lego Transformers, Bang Slash two, version 2. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.